unthinkable tragedy. And first and foremost, we'd like to keep our thoughts and prayers with the families who have lost loved ones, the victims who were injured, and the entire community who's come together to support each other during this difficult time. Our investigators worked tirelessly around the clock since the shooting, and we will continue to do so to gather all the facts and evidence in this investigation. Here's what we confirm at this point. The deceased, there are 26 deceased, 23 in the church, two outside the church, and one at the hospital. The total wounded include, uh, the total number is 20. There are six in stable condition or have been released. There are four in serious condition and 10 that remain in critical condition, so this number could rise. We ask that everyone keep them in your thoughts and prayers. The names of the victims will be released as soon as all of the next of kin have been notified. We appreciate everyone's understanding in the sensitive nature and process. The suspect we can confirm is Devin Patrick Kelly. He is 20, 26 year old white male. He currently, he was residing in New Braunfels, Texas. The cause and manner of the death in this, in, in, with the shooter will be determined by a pathologist during the autopsy. However, investigators found evidence at the scene that indicates the subject may have died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. We can tell you, as in with all active shooter situations, the number one goal of law enforcement is to neutralize the shooter. In this situation, we had two Good Samaritans that did that for law enforcement. This call went out as an active shooter call. Law enforcement re was responding, but we know that a local resident that lives across the street from the church heard what was going on. He armed himself with an AR assault rifle and engaged the suspect. They engaged in gunfire here at the church. We know that the suspect was shot uh, when, when he dropped his, his assault rifle, jumped in his Ford Expedition and fled the scene. This Good Samaritan, our Texas hero, flagged down another uh, young man from Seguin, Texas and, and, and jumped in his vehicle and they pursued the suspect. Uh, they pursued, we, we know during that pursuit, the suspect used his cell phone to notify his father that he had been shot and didn't think he was going to make it. Subsequently, he uh, uh, shot himself. And so, the, the, as I said, the pathologist will determine the cause and manner of, of his death. We can confirm that the sub suspect did not have a license to carry. Uh, the suspect did have a non-commissioned, unarmed private security license similar to uh, a, a security guard at a concert type situation. There were no disqualifiers entered into the National Crime Information Center database that would preclu preclude him from receiving a private security license. Private security background checks, including fingerprints and a criminal history checks with the Texas Crime Information Center and National Crime Information Center databases uh, were checked and he was cleared. I can tell you there is video recording from inside the church that has been secured and we have viewed the video. Uh, the crime scene investigation will go on for days. Uh, all the bodies have been removed from the church. Our victims will be autopsied at the Bear County Medical Examiner's Office. Our, our, as I said, our suspect was uh, autopsied this morning in Travis County and uh, that information will be forthcoming. We know you have a lot of questions. We'll answer what we can. But uh, to start off with, uh, I think we're going to go to the uh, special agent in charge of ATF to answer questions that he can that he can answer. Uh, his assistance to this investigation, the suspect, uh, and, and his uh, purchase of the firearms. Good morning. My name is Fred Milanowski. It's M-I-L-A-N-O-W-S-K-I. I'm the special agent in charge of ATF's Houston Field Division. Um, first and foremost, uh, our hearts go out to the citizens of this community and the vi victims' families. I mean, it is obviously a tragic for all of us. What I can confirm, there was three firearms that have been recovered. Um, one was the Ruger 5.56 rifle that was recovered at the scene of the church. Two additional handguns were recovered from the vehicle of the deceased suspect. One was a Glock 9mm and one was a Ruger 22. I also can confirm that all three of these firearms were purchased by the deceased suspect. 
Um, and there's been a lot of uh, information in the media and question about the discharge of this individual from the military. Um, what I will tell you right now is that in general, if an individual has a dishonorable discharge from the military, they would be prohibited from possessing or purchasing firearms. In this specific investigation, we are early in the investigation. We do not have all the documentation yet. Um, so until we can get all the documentation, firearms. Thank you. Next, we'll have uh, the, the, the Wilson County Sheriff, Joe Tackett. I think I spoke to most of you this morning. Uh, some things have changed since early morning when I spoke to you. And uh, we will be getting back with you all later. And if you need to try to contact me, I think most of you did get my telephone number. Right now, our hearts are going out to all the, the family members that have lost family or have family in the hospital. Thank y'all. Next, we'll have the FBI special agent, special agent in charge, Chris Combs. Good morning, I'm Christopher Combs. I'm the FBI special agent in charge. First of all, our condolences to this community on this horrific act. We're here with our partners, the DPS and the Rangers. We work with every day in support of them, assisting them in any way that we can. Uh, right now, we're providing some of the evidence teams in support and also some technical support with uh, phones, video that we talked about, uh, going back to our lab at Quantico. Uh, so we are here in support of Texas DPS and we will be here with them as long as they need. Thank you. And one, one thing uh, everybody wants to know is why did this happen? It's a, a, a senseless crime, but we can tell you that there was a domestic situation going on within this family. Um, the suspect's mother-in-law attended this church uh, we know that he had made threatened, uh, threatening, uh, uh, she had reset threatening texts from him, and uh, and, and we, we can't go into details about that domestic uh, situation that is is continuing to be vetted and thoroughly investigated. But we want to get that out there that this was not racially motivated. There was it wasn't over religious beliefs. There was a domestic situation going on within the family and the in-laws. And next, the the uh, Wilson County District Attorney. Good morning. Um, we've learned this morning just how small town America truly is. Um, we've had a tremendous outpouring across the country for people wanting to assist our families in need. And I want to make sure that everyone knows how they can help because everyone can help. You can help by praying for these families and their loved ones first and foremost, and everyone can do that. The other thing is you can help these families financially. And so we are working and in the process of setting up two bank accounts. The Sutherland Springs Community Association has a bank account through Commerce Bank in Stockdale that will be accepting monetary donations on behalf of the families. In addition to that, Wells Fargo will have an account as well set up for the victims of Sutherland Springs. And so that, and that will be available for anyone to help. What we do not need at this point are canned goods and non-perishable items for the families. If you want a way to help, it's through prayer and it's through financial donations. And so we appreciate you guys sharing that information. And we are very grateful for this country and the just tremendous outpouring of support um, that these families are starting to receive. And we want to make sure that everybody knows how they can help. So thank y'all very much. Also with us today, we have uh, two Texas Ranger Majors, Corey Lane and Brian Marzinski, who are the incident commanders uh, for the investigation. So we will try to answer uh, any of your questions you have at this time. Put it in the video show and we're going to assist in the investigation. Uh, uh, of course, the video will assist in the investigation, and, and uh, you know, it was a horrific event, and uh, at this time, we're not prepared to talk about the video. Director Martin, could you, you explain what happened after the shooting happened? Could you back up a little bit and give us a description? There were reports that he was at the gas station, walked up right behind where you gentlemen are standing. Could you give us a little bit of that? We know he was seen at the Blero. Uh, it, it was, he was obvious, obviously suspicious to others based on the way he was dressed in all black. Uh, at that
that time, I'm not sure if he had the mask on or not, um, but he, he was wearing a black mask that had a white face, skull face to it. Uh, then he drove across to the church, and that's when he exited the vehicle and started shooting. Was he wearing body armor? He, he was wearing a ballistic vest with a, a, a plate on the front. There was no plate on the back, but he was wearing a ballistic vest. The ongoing domestic speculate but in total. Uh, two of them were bought in Colorado. Two of them were bought here in Texas. When were they question. purchased? There was, uh, each, there was one purchase per year in 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. When in 2017? subject spent inside that church in a shooting event. Uh, he moved around freely inside the church, but I'm not going to get into his exact dynamics within the church. Has the pastor and his wife been captured? Were they on the scene? Yes, the, 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 pastor, the pastor has returned. Could you describe kind of what they're going through right now? I, I can only imagine what he's going through. How many of the victims were minors? We don't have all the, uh, all the information. There are several that we, obviously, they're children. Uh, their exact ages. Yesterday, uh, we released information that the ages ranged from 5 to 73. Those were the ones being treated at the hospital. In, inside the uh, church, the deceased actually ranged from 18 months to 77 years of age. Really quick on that. Ladies and gentlemen, we will tweet. Uh, follow us on Twitter, please. Uh, and we will tweet something. As well, uh, we plan on having a press briefing around 7 o'clock this afternoon. So we're going to make a quick, quick, quick point of clarification. There's three Academy stores in San Antonio. Do you know which ones the weapons were purchased at, just so we're correct on that? No, we're, we're not going to release that information. Oh, so get a quick, name? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming again. We will brief you all at 7 p.m. My name is Freeman Martin, F-R-E-E-M-A-N, Martin, M-A-R-T-A-N. Hey, and, and, and with that, y'all, uh, we would like to close in prayer. Why did you tie to how y'all doing? Uh, I'm Pastor Demos, and the church is grieving. The body of Christ across this world is grieving, but we're resilient, we're strong, and we're going to continue to worship God no matter what happens, no matter what attacks come. And that's a part of our faith. Our Savior Jesus died, and he died a brutal death, and this is what happens sometimes, but our faith is all those families are trusting in God. We want to pray for the pastor and the families briefly. Father God, we just give this to you, Jesus. We ask for your covering and your protection. We ask for your healing power, God. We ask for your strength. We ask for your help. You said weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So we pray this prayer over our pastors and our leaders across this nation and world. We are one church, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. What's your church, Pastor? What church are you in? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming again. Hey, can we get the best?